the entrance anaphon. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Dear brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating uh, the Mass of uh, Wednesday after uh, the fourth Sunday of Easter. So to we ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, light of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the church. Listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading of the Acts of the Apostles. The Word of God continues to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church of Antioch prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simon, who is called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manon, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart from, from me Barnabas and Saul for the work which I have called for them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they went forth by the Holy Spirit went down to Cilicia, and there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song, May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. Whoops, sorry. Oh my... Responsorial song. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May He let His face shine upon us, so they may may Your way be known upon the earth, among all nations. Your salvation. O God, let, let all the nations, nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exalt because of You. You rule the peoples of inequity. The nations on earth, you guide. O oh God, let all and nations, all nations praise, you. praise you. May the people praise you, O oh God. May all the people praise you. May God bless you. And may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, oh God, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to just in. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that His commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to just him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. My dear brothers and sisters, as Jesus said, the people were not living on bread alone, but also every word that come from the mouth of God. The words of God strengthen us, give us light, inspire us, strengthen us. The word of God is the word of love, of light, and the words of eternal life that Jesus has said. We ask the Lord to continue to help us to open our heart and our mind to the word of God. So the word of God can touch our hearts, inspire us, strengthen us, give us life. And lighting us on the way we go. You know, Jesus is the Word of God. And in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, it said that the God created the universe and all things in this by His Word. It said, Be light, and they are light. And everything God created by His word. And so, the ocean, the land, the plants, everything in the universe, God created by His word. And finally, God created human. And now Jesus became a human living among us. He is the word of God. And we see many times the gospel when Jesus had encounters with the people around. He healed the sick. He gave a, a dead man back to life all by his word. So, and the head of the synagogue asked him to come to uh, heal his uh, daughters. So, um, 
he came to his house, but his daughters already died. But he touched the little girl and said, Talita, go! Little girl, rise! And the girls drive back to life. He told the man, who has died already, the only son of the widow in Nain. He touched the coffin and called the man, rise, the young man, I, I tell you. And then the man wake up and get up. When the storm come on the sea, the disciples was frightened. And he said, Why? Be still. And the ocean came. The storm disappeared. My dear brothers and sisters, many times in the gospel, and also in the scriptures, God would touch our mind and our heart. Rise it up, strengthen us, inspire us, and lead the way, the way to go, to go into the eternal life. We ask the Lord to continue to bless us with the word of God and help us to open our mind and our heart for the touching of that word that gives us life and continue to lead us in our way. Let us pray, dearly beloved, for a quick end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God the Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Almighty and merciful oh God, source of all life, health, oh and healing. healing. Look with compassion on our world. world. Brought low by the seas, protect us in the, midst. in the midst of the grace and challenges that assail us. And in your family providence, bring recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this scourge. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be you, Lord, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the food of you, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, food of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept us at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful change effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by worthy way of life. 
to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let them give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly Christ and just our beauty in our salvation. As all times to blame you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to Lord you yes more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he had been joy of death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with passable joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory at their play. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a new form, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the times when we trained and entered really to eat passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when someone ended, he took the child's and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the child's of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim to the O Lord and profess the resurrection until you come up again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord. Breath of life, the child of salvation, giving thanks that you have a helpless worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the food and the charity together with Francis of Hope and Jose, our bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, William Morimoto, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with the Son in the death like this, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have a dying of mercy, welcome them into the light of faith. Have the mercy of us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry the people as an eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for our evil. Grace, live and peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and save from all interest. I will with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are to us now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church. And gracefully raise the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. That the offer of the sign of peace. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have a mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have a mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray with the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I, I believe you. you are really here in the sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world. And I hunger to receive you. But since, since I, I cannot, cannot receive the communion at this moment, feed my soul at least, at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now as I do when I actually, actually receive you. Amen. Amen. Communion Antiphon. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, the fruit that will last. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray with us. I'll leave you for a Holy Virgin of Wallaby, Queen of the angels and Mother, Mother of all the Americas, we fly to you today as your, your beloved children. children. We are to you to intercede for us with your Son, as, as you did, did at the wedding in Canaan. Pray for us, loving Mother, Mother, and gain for our nation and world. And for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the force of this illness. For those who already are afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away the tears and help them to trust. In these times of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts, 
we come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master is and his good peace and love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.